What's going on YouTube? Geosnow right here. So in today's video we have news about the check rain jailbreak for iOS 13.1.3, 13.1.2 and lower, 13.0, 12.4.1 and so on for the iPhone 10, iPhone 7, iPhone 8 all the way down to the iPhone 5s. Now Cydia has finally been achieved and the check rain jailbreak account in here posted just a few hours ago a picture with three devices running the check rain jailbreak and of course having the Cydia and what appears to be Zebra, another package manager side by side running on this device. So this basically kind of confirms the theory that the application, the check rain application you see here on the screen on that device isn't exactly an application like Uncover, so this remains a tethered jailbreak, but that one probably allows you to select a specific package manager that you want to install, for example Zebra or Cydia possibly others as well, I don't know for the moment. But yeah, it does confirm that the uh, check rain jailbreak will come with multiple package managers to choose from, not only Cydia. So if you don't want to use Cydia, you can just use Zebra or other package managers. And this is actually very important. You probably know this is a tethered jailbreak based on the Checkmate exploit, which is compatible with the iPhone 10 all the way down to the iPhone 4S. But for the moment, we're more interested in the iPhone 5S and newer. And as you can see here on Dennis photo, this is basically how it looks like like when you jailbreak with this jailbreak, it's basically showing the um, the actual console patching all that jazz and it has their logo in there. This is a tether jailbreak, which means that it's going to require a computer if you want to activate the jailbreak. The device will keep on working. If you don't have a computer, you can power it on, but it will not be jailbroken. But at the same time, this is a very important jailbreak based on a very, very powerful bootroom exploit, which means that Apple cannot patch this exploit. So the iPhone 10, the iPhone 8, the iPhone 7, 7 Plus, the iPhone 6s and so on. These are basically jailbroken for life. It means that any version in the future that they may add, for example 13.2 or 13 point whatever, or even iOS 14 if it happens to support the iPhone 10 and the iPhone 8 and so on if Apple doesn't drop these devices for security concerns, then that version will be jailbroken right away through this exploit in here. But yeah, as you can see, it does come with both Cydia and Zebra for the moment, possibly even other package managers, there are multiple of them. But for those of you who are curious, I don't think that Cilio will be an option to download because the Cilio application is unfortunately not open source and I don't think Coolstar would open source it or give the uh, Chickering team the Cilio package just for that. Now Jamie Bishop, part of the development team, gives more information about the Cydia because apparently we're not dealing with the Cydia from the Uncover. Because as you probably know, for the moment there is only one Cydia that actually works fine on iOS 12 and iOS 11 and so on. And that is the um, Elucabratus version which is basically maintained by Sam Bigner. And it's the version that is being used in the Uncover. And as you probably know from experience, it works pretty well. Jamie Bishop says that they are not going to use that version of Cydia, they're going to maintain their own. A person in here asked if they're going to use Sam Bigner's Elucubratus app, and Jamie Bishop said that no, and the Cydia installer is a different one. He said, quote, that Cydia dev is not being used for a release. We're not using Elucubratus at all. We're not shipping his Cydia. We'll maintain a fork of Cydia and have full control over the bootstrap and the tools we ship. So basically they're doing this move so that they have more control over the uh, application and of course the binaries that they ship in case they need to do any sort of updates and so on. They don't want to rely on Sam Bingner's repo and binaries for bug fixes and stuff like that, which I believe is a good move and I believe that it would add yet another Cydia fork that is worth installing. Because many people were like, yeah, Cydia is dead and so on, is no longer updated by Soric. Well, there are other people who can keep it updated. And speaking of updates, the official CheckRain website has been updated and instead of just showing the slow going here, now it shows ADA soon and a bunch of other domain names which are actually the same as the original in here, they point to the same thing, but these are all official domains. So if you happen to go to checkrain.io, you would still go to the official Checkrain website. The same thing if you go to checkrain.dev or checkrain.net, of course Checkrain spelled with a one. Now probably they did this to save the domains so that, you know, scammers and stuff like that don't just buy the domains and take advantage of the name and of course put scams in there and, you know, fake jailbreaks and stuff like that. So it's a good move, but all these domains in here will be available for the same application. But the important bit, it says ATA soon. 
month, so they will be releasing soon. And as you can see, they're actually quite close to completion, especially since they already installed both Cydia and Zebra and they work fine. Now that's basically it guys, thank you for watching, I'm going to keep you updated on what's currently going on with the uh, jailbreak community and of course check rain. But yeah, if you want more discussions about the jailbreak, there is this jailbreak central forum that I created where you can request jailbreak help or, you know, see the latest jailbreak news and custom made firmer news and so on. So yeah, go ahead and check it out. Thank you for watching, I am Geosnow, till the next time, subscribe to stay updated. Peace out.